So when you think about banking and you think about the roles within a bank, it's very interesting that it's not always about numbers and finance or accounting. There's a lot more within banks that may interest individuals from a career perspective. In my career path, I always wanted to go more toward the lending side, uh, more customer facing, uh, more outgoing personality type in the community, visible. And a lot of times people that are thinking they're gonna go into banking think that that's really the only option. And we don't think about other roles that banking has or provides that we need those people that have expertise to do so. Those include accounting, HR, information technology, marketing, compliance, uh, underwriting. There's just a number of areas and I always thought that you had to be a finance major to go into banking, whereas if you want to be the CFO of the bank, maybe an accounting major is more appropriate uh, for that. There is the traditional accounting and finance department that keeps the books of the bank and have to do financial reporting around the profitability or the loss of the bank. Other interesting areas is commercial lending as well as retail banking. Retail banking, as you know, is the branch banking. It's dealing with consumers when commercial banking is more about dealing with corporations from a lending perspective. Other areas within the bank that you could be interested in is technology. So if you're interested in the technology side of things as it relates to finance or accounting, there's an entire technology department within the bank. There are areas around marketing and communication. There are areas around fraud and compliance and risk. Within the uh, compliance and risk area, there's a lot happening in that space right now for individuals that are interested in that avenue. And it's really about protecting the clients as well as the bank itself from the bad guys, from a fraud perspective. You have roles within the bank that handle internal and external communication. You have roles within the bank that do brand management for the bank. What does the bank want to be? How does it want to present itself to its clients? In addition to that, there's a treasury product and sales organization within the bank that sells products and services to those commercial clients so that they can collect money and then pay money out from their respective accounts. Two other areas within the bank is the legal side. So if you're interested in the law, business law, or any other type of law, that most banks have some type of legal need from a law firm perspective or a law perspective. In addition to that, corporate investments or personal investments. So just like you as an individual or as a company, you require investments to be done with your excess liquidity. And the bank has different roles within the institution to do that. So if you like stocks and you like bonds, Almost all banks, smaller ones to larger ones, have some needs around the investment attributes um, associated with the bank. The last area I would mention is just operations and client service. I think those are undervalued roles within a bank in today's environment. Those groups deal directly with the client on issues and inquiries that they may have for the bank, and they really make sure that what needs to happen within the bank happens within the operation of the team. I always thought that banking was a, a very clean, respectable profession in the community. You're very involved. There's uh, other boards and commissions within the community that you're uh, a part of as well or asked to be a part of to help make an impact in the communities that you live or bank. And that was always appealing to me. I think what I find most rewarding about banking is it really does, especially within the community bank sector, which is smaller banks within local communities. I think the thing I find most rewarding for that is it really created the ability for me personally to give back to the community. So either through the lending attributes of the bank or extending capital to these small businesses trying to get started, or if it means helping them on the treasury side, becoming more efficient. Most of these commercial clients, when you get to know them, they're families. They have husbands and wives and children and they're paying for colleges and community banks and banking in general serves a really important need around that. Um, and I found that to be very rewarding. Do you see directly the customers you're helping and they're able to grow their businesses or build their house or buy a new home, buy a new car, whatever it is. And then the role as commercial lender is satisfying because you do see the direct impact uh, with that particular customer, that particular business, uh, immediately and then over time as they grow. So one thing that comes to mind when you talk about the importance of banking has played in the community 
or the nation. Most recently would be the uh, pay check protection program that the SBA rolled out during COVID. That was an avenue where business owners could apply uh, to the bank and get short-term needs because the economy basically just shut down for a period of time. Due to the, the size of the task, the government basically relied on the banks and the financial institutions throughout the entire nation. Specifically, community banks played a huge role in the deploying of those PPP loans. That was able to uh, get much needed funding to the business owners so the business owners could keep making payroll to their employees um, so that you know the economy continue, could continue to go. Um, and this was a very important thing that the banking sector provided for uh, the nation. I think most importantly, what I would share with students here that are looking for a career in banking is that when you look at a bank and understand what it does for the community, it's pretty meaningful, both for consumers as well as companies that are in a specific ge geography. Uh, banks are a value add and really important to the ecosystem of the financial services industry.